Welcome back. Al Ahli. Al Ahli clinched the sixth title of the African handball just yesterday, and it was really great to see that number one is the Malik with 12 titles. Number two, it's um, uh, a, uh, a team from Algeria, and number three is Al Ahli. We are dominating uh, these uh, um, these um, uh, these sports on the African level, and we are expecting more and more to shed li more light on the competition and on the last match which earned Al Ahli with the title. We are very much delighted to have with us Bayafoun Yusuf Ashraf, our sports analyst and former um, national team handball player. Thank you very much for being with us, Yusuf. Thank you for having me. Uh, long time no see, by the way. And, um, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I know, I know. Always happy to be here. You are going to be with us live here in the studio. First, I would say congratulations to Al Ahli to clinch the African title. Um, first, before going into the details, have you expected that this is going to be uh, the case in absence of Al Zamalek? Yeah, so this one was particularly different. Uh, uh, the absence of Zamalek was felt by everyone in the tournament, not just Al Ahli. Mm -hmm. And uh, to be honest, uh, we all missed uh, having uh, Zamalek uh, there. Having Ahli and Zamalek competing for African titles is something to be proud of. Uh, everyone is always expecting this kind of dominance between the two teams in, in Africa. Yep. Uh, not to take anything away from uh, Ahli's win. They have been consistent and they have shown progress. They have a very young team that is growing. But again, uh, this one was rather expected uh, due to the absence not only of Zamalek, but also of the Tunisian teams that did not participate as well. So, uh, but uh, congratulations, Ali, uh, in all uh, in all ways. With all my respect to uh, the uh, JSK from Congo, it ended 37-23, meaning uh, there was such a difference in uh, the standard or um, in the levels among um, between the players. Um, I'm always saying so. When you pay the adequate respect to the rivals, this means that, uh, that you are on the right path. Um, yes. Our players are, uh, were able to read the match from the very beginning and they were able to lead or to continue with such a performance, particularly later on. If you agree with me on that, and would you please elaborate? Yeah, sure. So, so the, the difference and the gap has been uh, growing, honestly, between uh, the... the North African teams from Egypt, uh, Tunisia, especially Egypt and Tunisia, than the African, the Southern African teams. And uh, but the most important thing is that uh, Lahli took this very seriously from the first game to the last. Mm -hmm. uh, they played their best uh, all at all times because even though there is a difference in level, as you as you mentioned, not giving the opponent uh, the respect and not uh, preparing well for each and every match could cause upsets that we've seen in sports uh, uh, so many times. So kudos to Ali for, for not showing any any disrespect or any lack of preparation, uh, in the, not only in the final, uh, across all matches during the, the tournament. However, if you even if you speak to players from Al Ahli, they say that um, they, 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 the, the, the win or the, the cup means a lot more when uh, when there are the, the when the, the the competitors the main competitors are present to fight for the for the championship so we hope the next uh, tournament will have the malik as well and we we'll continue to fight again um i'm not going to speak about everyone um, in name by name i mean i'm sorry but yes. ibrahim al masri was all the time keen to be the maestro the leader the yeah. one who is inspiring others how do you yeah. see the role of Al Masri, whether while playing or outside? So, Al Masri is the only player that has won this uh, championship before with Al Ahli. So, mm -hmm. this shows you that this is a, a renewed squad, a young uh, group of players. So, this young group of players need a, a leader, as you said, need someone to inspire them, need someone to transfer that culture of winning, of showing uh, the mentality. Of of uh, of not losing, of winning championship inside Egypt and outside. So Al Masri has played a great role in that. He is uh, well known among all athletes of being a hard worker, of being a very committed player, showing signs of of leadership that could show in the future that he could be a great coach as well. And also, he's known as one of the best defenders not only in Africa but across the world, and he has had offers to leave Al Ahly for great teams. Uh, during his career, but he's always chosen to stay and be loyal to the club. So, um, yeah, I think uh, he's very integral in the growth and development of this very young team, and we're, sh we're seeing signs of that now with him. 
and um, and a lot also of of, uh, of credit must go to the to the coach, the Spanish coach uh, David Davis. He's uh, he's been showing that uh, that uh, the progress of the players is very very very. And uh, because David should... uh, Davis was uh, was uh, the the head coach of our national team before, I think he is acquainted with many of the players who joined the uh, national team before, and he knew how to make this harmony uh, and how to make the rotation. I mean, with the presence of uh, Castello, Sisa, Mohsen Ramadan, Khairi, there are, are a lot of names. I think he knew them before, so he was not introduced for the first time to them. Exactly. This is uh, this has played a very important part in their uh, in their development uh, of recent years. But but also, uh, he has been integrating new players and young players. So the average age of the players now uh, of Al Ali is very very low, which is a very good sign for the future. So not only this was my coming question, players, you know, but he's also been developing the, the, the age coach. categories. Yeah. Uh, do you think that they harmonize that easy or still they should have more experience to be totally responsible for El Ahli's future in handball in general? Yeah, so right now the, the team has has a huge potential and, mm -hmm. and now the responsibility of the coach and the more experienced players is to get that the potential to the maximum from the younger uh, players. I think they're well capable of doing this and they've shown signs of this, but still a long road uh, in front of these young players and and I think uh, with time and with the right coach and the, with, and the right mentality they can continue with the success for the Ali and for the national team for years to come. Inshallah and we Inshallah. hope that uh, this is going to continue for the best interest of our national team before anything else. Yusuf, uh, unfortunately we're running out of time but I'm going to leave you with a promise to see you in more episodes of uh, Score Sheet. Yes, would love to, and uh, I'll see you soon in the studio, inshallah. Inshallah, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, congratulations to El Ahli, congratulations to our national team of volleyball to qualify to uh, Paris 2024, and we are going to leave you with a promise to uh, be with you next time, same time on Mal TV International for more news and to analyze and in detail the uh, Egyptian sports team's uh, performance in many local and continental as well as international competitions. By this we come to the end of our episode. Stay tuned on Mal TV International. With all my love, this was Nirmi. Abdurrahman.